Hi, this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs, and today I want to show you a video that explains how to resize a Simply Crafty SVGs design with multiple SVG files within Silhouette Studio. I am using Business Edition, but as you all know, that you need at least Designer Edition to upload SVG files. This video is specific to resizing designs that have multiple SVG files but you can use the same steps to um, resize any single SVG file or silhouette image. So first we need to bring in all the files of an SVG design into a new project and I've already done that. I'm going to use the tall gable box as the example. Um, as you can see these th this one has three files. The, the, these two with the score lines are the box and then these are the panels. So to resize, all we want to do is select all the files by highlighting them using um, your mouse. So I'm just going to drag the mouse over all of them and you can see they're all highlighted. If you have to zoom out, um, you can zoom out a little bit. You can do it right here. If your files, you have them kind of all over the mat somewhere. So once you have them highlighted, and also you could use Control A or Command plus A on a uh, Control A on a Windows device or Command plus A on a Mac. So once you have those um, highlighted, you just go to a corner and you can go to any corner to get the double arrow. So you can see that we're getting double arrows when we hover over the corners. So you'll click on a corner and you will click and hold and drag down to drag the, the to make it smaller or you can go the other way to make it larger. This particular file we can't go much larger so we're going to go smaller. And then we'll zoom in a little bit. So let's say you want it to be so this these are this is an inch per these large grid lines. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say you want it to be five inches or four inches tall. Just go ahead and drag that. Kind of drag it up and just start where that dash line is because that's where the box size is. So I go one, two, three, four. We're almost there. And there you go. So that's four inches tall. If you do drag it up, you just have to make sure, like if you want to make it larger, so I'm going to make it larger. You just have to make sure that the largest file doesn't go beyond the mat size. So Silhouette says they, they can cut up to 12 by 12 like on the mat. I honestly would not cut beyond 11.8 or something. I'd just make it smaller than the mat, a little bit smaller than the mat. If you don't care and you just want to do the largest size you can. You see that red line is the cut area. So this is the largest file in this particular design. So that's the largest I can go. Be careful um, enlarging them because you are limited to the size of the mat. And also when you size them down, be careful because uh, some designs might be very difficult to put together if they're teeny uh, because of all the tabs. It just depends. A, a box like this would be quite simple to be small. You can also resize by percentage. So for this example, I'm going to open up the medium stemless wine glass box. Um, that's a good example because uh, in my product description, I do specify that you need to enlarge this file by 113% to fit a popular insulated stemless wine glass. To do this, we need to open the transform panel on the right. So we're going to come over here and find this. So that's the little icon with the bars on it. So this is, you want to do use this when you need to um, scale to a certain size. So we're going to come up here and hit the scale icon. Left click it. And then as I explained, uh, for this particular design I do specify to uh, resize it to 113% of the original size. So we're going to highlight everything here. So just drag over everything 
all the files that are included in the design that you um, imported and then we're going to type 113 in that percent uh, little percent box and then click apply so now you can go ahead and arrange them on the mat as you want and then cut them out I mean you'll still have to cut the, the box pieces on separate mats but you can do that so I'm gonna put them all here so that's 113 percent there is an easy way to uh, resize by percentage for common percentages like 50 percent so if I were to highlight all these just like I did before and I'm gonna close this window highlight all of these oh and you can actually before I, I go and do it the other way in here you can see there's by default there's some 33 percent 50 percent 200 percent so you can use that so I'm gonna go 50 percent and let's just do that apply if I close that window the easier way to resize to those common ones are up here you click on the scale icon and it's all up here so let me do 200 percent now so that's it so I know a lot of people will take the original design and scale it down to 50% um, because they want a small box or something like that. And that's, this, that's really simple. They actually made it quite easy in Silhouette Studio. So I do hope this helps a few of you out there. If you have found this video helpful, please like this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for watching.